Hi guys, welcome to Cup of Teach. This time, I'm going to discuss discrete probability distribution and its properties. Let us review first random variables. Random variables is a set of possible values from random experiment. Experiment like tossing a coin and rolling a die. The set of possible values is called the sample space or S. We have two types of random variables. The first one is discrete random variable represent counts like number of objects in a collection. The second one, continuous random variable represents measurable amounts like volume, weight, and height. Example, tossing a coin twice at the same time. So let us consider yung phrases ng coin which is head and tail. So, H for the head, then T for the tails. Ang random variable natin dito, X, number of tails. So, ibig sabihin, ang kukuha nilang natin, number of tails. Pero, kailangan nating i-list down all the possible outcomes or yung sample space. So, kapag nag-toss ka ng coin twice, magkakaroon tayo ng outcomes na tail, 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 head, head, tail, at head, head. So, yung number of tails natin sa una, that is 2. Sunod, 1. Then, yung kasunod nun ay also 1. And yung last, 0. So, yung number of possible outcomes natin ay 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, para malaman natin ang number of possible outcomes, pwede natin gamitin ang formula na 2 raised to n. So, yung 2 dito, that is the faces of the coin which is the head and the tail. Yung n dito, yung kung ilang beses ka magtotos ng coin. So, we have here 2 raised to the second power kasi twice ka nag-toss ng coin. So, we will have now 4. So, ibig sabihin, 4 ang number ng possible outcomes. Kaya, meron tayo ditong tail, 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 head, head, tail, at head, head. So, apat lahat yung number of possible outcomes. Mag-draw ulit tayo ng another table. So, yung x, that is the possible outcomes. And then, yung nasa baba, that is probability of random variable equals dun sa possible outcomes or yung probability of x. So, pareho lang sila. So, paano natin makukuha ang probability of x? So, probability of random variable equals sa x or yung uh, possible values is equal to number of favorable outcomes over number of possible outcomes. So, ano yung sinasabi nating number of favorable outcomes? So, magre-rely tayo dito sa table na nilagay natin kanina, yung number of tails. So, sa una, 0. So, meron tayo dito ang 0. So, ang 0 natin ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang number of favorable outcomes natin na 0 ay 1. So, let us write here 1 over yung number of possible outcome which is 4. So, ang base dyan, the probability of that random variable x equals 0 is 1 fourth. Or, pwede natin sabihin na the probability of x is 1 fourth. Then, sunod, number of favorable outcomes natin kapag 1, so tingin dito sa table, so meron tayo ditong dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, 2 yung number of favorable outcomes natin over yung number of possible outcome which is 4. Then, sunod, yung 2 natin, tingin dito sa table. So, isa lang ang 2 natin. So, 1, ang number of favorable outcomes over yung number of possible outcomes. So, itong part na to, that is probability outcomes. Yung nandito sa taas, that is discrete random variable. So, kapag pinagsama natin ang probability, outcomes, at saka yung discrete random variable, makakabuo tayo ng discrete probability distribution. So, eto yung tinatawag nating discrete probability distribution. So, what is discrete probability distribution? Discrete probability distribution is a table or a formula listing all possible values that a discrete random variable can take on, along with the associated probabilities. So, meron tayong properties ng discrete probability distribution. The probabilities in the probability distribution of a random variable x 
must satisfy the following two conditions. Una, all probability or probability of x must be between 0 and 1. So, ibig sabihin, the probability of x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 1. The probability of an event will not be less than 0, because 0 is impossible. Sure that something will not happen. The probability of an event will not be more than 1, because 1 is a certain that something will happen. Number 2, the sum of all the possibilities is 1. Or the summation of probability of x is equal to 1. Example number 2. A pair coin is tossed thrice. Let x be the number of heads that are observed. Ang random variable natin dito x, number of heads that are observed. So, ibig sabihin, ang hahanapin lang natin, number of heads. So, paano natin malalaman kung ilang possible outcomes meron tayo dito sa problem na to? Or, kung ilang combinations. So, let us use yung formula na 2 raised to n. Yung 2, palaging tandaan, yung faces ng coin, which is the head and the tail. Then, yung n natin, kung ilang beses ka nag-toss ng coin. Since ang sabi niya dito ay try, so, ibig sabihin, tatlong beses tayo magtotoss ng coin. So, we will have now 2 raised to the third power, and 2 raised to the third power is equal to 8. Kasi that is 2, times 2, times 2. So, 8 possible outcomes meron tayo or 8 combinations. So, ano-ano yung combinations na yan? So, we will have now head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, tail, at tail, tail, tail. So, meron tayong walong possible outcomes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, yung number of heads natin sa una nating trial, that is 3. So, meron tayong tatlong heads. Sunod ay 2, next 2, then 2 ulit. Dito, 1 lang ang head natin dito. Then, 1, 1, then yung last natin ay 0. So, let's have now yung discrete probability distribution. X natin or yung possible outcomes natin, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3. Kasi we have here 0. Then, ang 1 natin dito, kahit tatlo sila, ire-represent lang natin siya ng isang beses na 1. Then, yung 2 natin dito ay tatlo din. So, isang beses lang natin ire-represent ang 2. Then, yung 3. Then, para makuha natin ang probability of random variable is equal to possible outcomes or yung probability of x, let us follow itong formula na number of favorable outcomes over number of possible outcomes. So, unahin natin yung 0. So, ilang favorable outcomes meron tayo kapag 0? So, tingin dito sa table. So, isa lang ang 0 natin dito. So, we have here 1. Favorable outcome over yung number of possible outcomes natin, which is 8. So, over 8. Next, 1. So, ilan ang favorable outcomes natin? Kamitin natin doon table. 1, 2, 3. So, tatlong favorable outcomes. Then, yung possible outcomes natin, that is 8. Next is 2. So, tingin ulit dito sa table. 1, 2, 3. So, we have here 3. Favorable outcomes, ang number of possible outcomes natin ay 8. Then, last yung 3. So, 3 natin dito ay isa lang. So, we have here 1 favorable outcomes over 8. Then, after that, kukunin natin yung sum ng probability outcomes. Kinakailangan kasi ang maging sum niya ay 1 para masatisfy yung properties niya. So, let's have here, summation. So, ang basa dito, sa so parang ina yan, that is summation. Summation of probability of random variable is equal to possible values is 1, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 8. That is equal to 8 over 8. Then, 8 over 8 is equal to 1. Therefore, 
na satisfied natin ang properties ng discrete probability distribution. Sample number 3. Find the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers when a pair of dice is tossed. Ang random variable natin dito, x, sum of a pair of tossed dice. Para malaman natin kung ilang possible outcomes meron tayo sa problem na to or kung ilang combinations, gamitin natin yung formula na 6 raised to n. So, yung 6 natin, faces yan ng die. Kasi yung die natin, 6 faces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, yung n natin, yaan kung ilang dice ang gagamitin mo. So, since pair ang ginamit natin dito, therefore, dalawang dice yan. So, we will have now 6 raised to the second power. So, 6 raised to the second power is 36. So, therefore, meron tayong 36 possible outcomes or yung 36 combinations. So, ano-ano yung combinations na yan? Consider this table. First day natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Second day natin, same then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, para makuha natin ang possible outcomes, eto na kasi yung possible outcomes natin or yung combination. So, para makuha natin ito, i-add lang natin yung first day at saka yung second day. So, 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Same din sa next row natin. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 2, 5. 4 plus 2, 6. 5 plus 2, 7. 6 plus 2, 8. Hanggang sa matapos natin hanggang dulo at makuha natin yung 36 outcomes. So, they are 36 outcomes or 36 combinations. Let's go now to discrete probability distribution. This is the table. So, ang x natin, possible outcomes natin, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, nanggaling lang yan dito sa kinuha nating possible outcomes kanina. So, we have your 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then, para naman dito sa probability of random variable is equal to possible outcomes or yung probability of x, sundan lang natin yung formula na number of favorable outcomes over number of possible outcomes. So, unahin natin yung 2. So, ilan ang favorable outcomes sa 2? Tingin dito sa table. So, isa lang ang 2 dito. So, we have 1. Then, number of possible outcomes natin, 36 over 36. Next, 3. So, we have here 2 favorable outcomes over 36. Kasi that is the number of possible outcomes. 4. So, we have here 3 over 36. Then, yung 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 favorable outcomes. Then, ang possible outcomes, number of possible outcomes natin ay 36. Sa 6, have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 favorable outcomes over 36. Next is 7. So, we have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 favorable outcomes over 36. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 favorable outcomes over 36. Next is 9. So, we have your 4 favorable outcomes over 36. 10, tatlo lang. So, 3 over 36. Ang 11 natin, dalawa over 36. Then, yung 12, Sa lang, over 36. So, these are now the probability outcomes. So, kunin natin yung sum nila. Kinakailangan ang sum nito ay equal sa 1. So, let's have here. Summation of probability of random variable is equal to possible outcomes. So, we have here 36 over 36. So, paano naging 36? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 5, plus 4, 
plus 3 plus 2 and plus 1 that is equal to 36 since they have the same denominator which is 36 so you just copy 36 and 36 over 36 is equal to 1 therefore na satisfied natin yung properties ng discrete probability distribution let us use yung table kanina so discrete probability distribution let us answer this question. What is the probability that the sum of the scores is 4, 5, 6, or 7? Ang ibig sabihin lang yan, what is the probability of random variable is greater than or equal to 4 but less than or equal to 7? Then we will have now the probability of random variable is greater than or equal to 4 but less than or equal to 7 is equal to probability of random variable is equal to 4 plus the probability of random variable is equal to 5 plus the probability of random variable is equal to 6 plus the probability of random variable is equal to 7 then i-add lang natin silang apat that is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 over yung number of possible outcomes natin which is 36 then, simplify natin to, that is equal to 22 over 36. Ang 22 over 36, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. That is equal to 11 over 18. So, this is now the answer for the given question. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!